be nice if I didn't have to watch this again. Superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course. all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. So on it, consider it done. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. I didn't think Nate would like this. I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Hmm. Curiosity killed the Max. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Oh, don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Rollerblades! Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. 
I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. This is both sad and pathetic. Let's talk later, Max. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What about Zachary? Did you let him off the hook? When he acts like a worm, I let him dangle. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Juliet has no clue how much this is hurting Kate. I'm not watching the video, Max. There's Brooke, looking smarter than everybody. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Welcome to Black Hill. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Samuel truly is a weirdo. But he is great at cleaning up. No need to go there now. Man, you gotta shower or something, right? I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted. Man, people here are merciless. Chloe is so determined to find you, Rachel. Could be fun. Glad I'm not. Thanks for the warning. Okay, so I already read that. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. What's up, Kate? Here we go. School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. 
Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> How did you dry yourself that quickly, you superhuman? I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Water is almost as good as a cup of strong tea when I'm in sleepy mode. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. <sighs> Oops. I forgot about the water pressure. <sighs> Oops. I forgot about the... The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. I don't think that's how. Even if I can stop work. one person from watching it, it's worth it. <sighs> Oops, I forgot about the water pressure. For a second, I thought I walked into the wrong room somehow. Ugh. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. And nothing here. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Why'd Kate needs the, the book on? and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Max is running down here. Right? Oh. oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. 
I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Why did she cover up the mirror? If she can't look at herself? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Alyssa looks ugly as hell, I'm gonna be honest. Kate really has a doting father. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Take a picture of it. Don't mind me. Picture. Oh, Kate doesn't mind me just looking at everything she has. Let me look at that picture. Incredible. Ouch. She left out amnation. Good lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Never knew the Damn, that it's day. the all-American zombie family. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Speak. Uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would, but it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. I won't either. Thank you, Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. So, why would you go? Lapse of sanity? I just thought I could meet some new people. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? 
Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... Are you sure? Of course. You think I'm making this crap up. Why? No, I'm just... being deductive, as usual. Then what happened? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Book. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Hey. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth...